What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. Part 2 of the Mount Moon Adventures right here on our uh, Gym Leader Draven channel. Yes, I'm trying to get this down right now, guys. I spent about 8 years on Draven XC711 trying to get the whole Gym Leader Draven down. Or the GLD. The GLD Network. I don't know. Anywho, in our last episode, we went through Mount Moon. The first part right here, we caught a few Pokemon just because, you know, we want to add to our collection. But not only that, but we evolved our one of our Pokemon twice. We even got to battle him in his middle form, which is pretty awesome. A record for me. Personal record for me. Anywho, babbling on and all that stuff, let's go and move on right here because uh, we got to finish this off. We really do. Lots of stuff. And uh, hopefully this is a Cliff Fairy. Please, no. Oh, yeah, and... Uh, We've been getting bugged by a lot of Zubats. Lots and lots of Zubats, which me, perso well, me personally, I do not like. So, oh god. See what I mean? Lots and lots of Zubats. And yes, we still don't have any repels right here, so... Gotta take care of that once we uh, earn enough money for repels. And wait, I'm gonna switch it up. And yes, I went off screen. Posited the two Pokemon that I caught, Paris and uh, what was the other one, Zubat, and I did capture a, a Geodude along the way, so that's another Pokemon that you can get, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go put Hydra right here, because we are still trying to train Hydra to get into a much more better position as, you know, a Gyarados and all that stuff, so these uh, these Pokemon are, are pesky, very, very pesky, I do not want to battle you, especially since Hydra's an easy picking Pokemon right here, so... Here we are. I believe this is the last area right here. And uh, wow. How did I know that, that there was going to be a new, new Pokemon right there? How? Oh, it was just a feeling. You know, that kind of stuff. So let's get this out of here. And yes, this is another live com right here, guys. So hope you're happy about that. I've been getting a little, a very good responses on the live com uh, part right here. And uh, not some very good responses on the whole. You're getting attacked by so many Zubats. Well, that's the nature of the beast, guys. That is the nature of the beast. So, here we have one. Wow, seriously! Oh, God. These Zubats are driving me up the wall. Stop attacking me, jerk asses. Alright. Little kids should leave grown ups alone. Kinda. On specific moments, but not totally. I can't agree with you on this one. Maybe grown-ups businesses. Maybe. Anywho, another Team Rocket member. Let's go ahead and try and beat him. Oh no, you know what? Let's go dominate him. So here you go with Pick Hammer. That quick attack will not do any good, right? Oh, it took quite a few. Alright. I don't know why Karate Chop is a normal type move. I really don't. It kind of it kind of gets me scared a little. And there we go. 78 experience points. Coming out with a Zubat. Wow, why did... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally pressed the B button right here, and, uh... Yeah, we're gonna get hurt just a little bit right here. Didn't want that to happen. Okay. Let's get those experience points back, or let's get those, uh, those HP points. This guy will not go down. Stinking Zubat. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna finish you off with a quick attack because I can't. It's pretty awesome right here. Look at that. How does it feel to fail? And more experience points for all of us. It's it's the best thing. He's like, I'm steamed! Well, you are a grown-up in the Pokemon world. Pokemon lived here long before our people came. Well, duh. It's kind of like dinosaurs or something. And I thought that was a... Well, I thought that was an item right here. So we're... We're at the end of this whole area right here. Probably should have continued. I don't know. Something about me doing... Uh, what? Oh, look at that. It's a Clefairy. Okay. Alrighty. While I'm here, I'm going to capture you. I'm going to capture you, you stinking Clefairy. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to go with Hydra or Pikachu right here because it does have uh, or it does have Thunder Wave. So, let's get this Thunder Wave going. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You're paralyzed. Don't pound me. Okay. So, um... Okay, I'm gonna stick with Pikachu right here because two two Pokemon will be able to beat this guy pretty badly. So another quick attack. Please do not make him faint. Oh god, it was a critical hit. Oh god, you know how hard it is to find a, a Clefairy in here, guys. Pretty hard. 
Although I'm just I'm, I'm suddenly remembering that you can buy it over at Celadon City, but I prefer to catch them. It's more challenging that way. Oh god. Okay, Zubat, you are starting to drive me crazy. Why couldn't they put a repels in the beginning? I don't know. God. Jesus Christ. It's that same Zubat. I kid you not, these guys follow you like freaking ticks. Okay, so normally in Pokemon Red and Blue, you would see a Pokemon Chain right there. But since it's Pokemon Yellow, they did exchange that guy for something else, which we will be seeing a little bit later. And as you can see right here, there is a secret area where you can find another Moonstone. Now, I found that out through Luroy, and Luroy found that out through, I guess, a comment. Um, I guess that was a big secret for, like, a long time. I mean, I've been playing this game for, like, 20 years already, guys. And, you know, I for the first time ever, I'm going, going over there, you know, that that pretty much found the fourth or fifth moonstone that you know everybody's been uh, trying to find so here we have another guy right here and he's like hey stop I found those I found these fossils they're both mine yeah that ain't gonna happen let's do this bring it on bring it on super nerd he's got a super nerd right here and he wants to come out with a Grimer first time going up against a Grimer poison type Pokemon and well Hydra ain't gonna do much, so let's go to Thrasher right here because it is a poison type Pokemon, and any kind of poison type attack this guy comes out with won't hurt me. And uh, luckily, that doesn't do too much damage right there, and there's that Mega Punch we've been waiting for. Oh yeah, and wow, Disable takes away my Horn Attack. That was the next move I was gonna use, so let's go on to Water Gun right here. And uh, that says it all right there, Grimer. You've been getting your butt kicked right there. And uh, coming out with a Voltorb, so I'm gonna go back to Hydra right here because again, we're trying to we're trying to get this this Hydra into a Gyarados right now. And uh, let's go. Let's go to Thrasher right here. Switch it up. And as you can see, that Voltorb only has a tackle attack. Not much. God, I really wish I had a I really wish I had a, a ground type move right now, but I don't. Because it's too early on into the game. Jesus. Why? And there we go. Another vic or another victory for us. And Thrash is quickly growing up right before our eyes right there. It's now become our strongest Pokemon right there. Which, it's not that bad. I mean, we're evening out all the battle or the, the, the levels right here. And here's a coughing for the first time. But here's my Hydra. And uh, let's go to Sparky right here. We need to catch up the we need to catch up the, the Thrasher right here. And ooh, shouldn't have done that. Okay. We survived. Again, uh, poison type Pokemon. Pain in the butt, but look at that, you're paralyzed. What can you do? What can you do? Okay, so. I'm expecting the worst right now. I seriously am, but luckily I do have antidotes, and that was a critical hit right there. And uh well. Would you look at that? Hydra grows to level 13, and everybody's happy right now. This guy's like, okay, I'll share. Kinda. Okay, so, he's like, well, we'll each t take one. No being greedy. Hmm. So we got two kinds of fossils right here. We got the Helix fossil, which will turn into Ammonite. And then we got the Dome fossil right here, which will turn into Kabuto. Now me, well, to be honest, it doesn't really make a difference whichever one I, I take. I do have Pokemon Red and Blue uh, for the 3DS, so whichever one I get, I will obviously get like I will get the other one on a trade. So it doesn't really matter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get myself the Helix Fossil just for kicks and giggles right here. So Helix Fossil and Pikachu moves out of the way, and here he comes out with the the Dome Fossil, which I wish I would have had both. And he's like, far away on Cinnabar Island, there's a Pokemon lab. They do researches, uh, research on re-engineering fossils, which is pretty good. Not bad. All right. Okay, so we'll keep that in mind. So I'm going to be switching up my Pokemon right here because we're not out of the woods just yet. We still got one more challenge. That challenge that we've been waiting for for quite some time. But I'm killing up my Pokemon right now just for this challenge right here. So let us move forward. We're about to go, and uh, right before we even leave, this happens. 
a Geodude attacks. Oh god. These Pokemon, I swear to god. Up the wall. Okay. That wasn't the real reason. Move forward. There it is. Stop right there. Prepare for trouble. And make it double. I completely forgot the last verse of this whole thing, but that fossil is Team Rockets. Surrender now or prepare to fight. So here it is, guys, our next battle against Jesse and James. Yeah. So in Pokemon Yellow, you do remember that, um, well, if you remember, uh, Jesse and James is a big part of this whole game right here. They're, Pokemon Yellow is pretty much like a, 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 an imitation of the anime, which was in, what, the 90s. Yeah, if you guys if you guys understand what I what I just said, but the only thing is that this this team right here they don't they don't really call themselves Jesse and James they don't really have any names or anything like that so that's one of the things and then uh, the meow doesn't talk doesn't talk at all and uh, right now I'm just kicking its butt and uh, well there you go say goodbye to Ekans right there Pig Hammer grows some experience points and he's gonna be coming out with the meow and that's the Pokemon that I was actually expecting now. One of the things that you can, you, you'll, you'll see is that Meowth will not evolve, but Coughing and Wheezing will, or not Coughing and Wheezing, Coughing and Ekans will evolve later on into this, uh, this whole walk right here. Just like it did in the, uh, in the, in the, the anime. Hmm. Really wish they would have kept them in later series, you know, just to follow us and stuff. Be our, our personal fans and whatnot, and... Wow, this Meowth is kicking my pick hammer's butt right now. And are you serious? Holy crack. God, it took me quite a while. And there we go. We grow to level 16. We're evening out our levels right here. And uh well, let's see. Who should we move? Okay, you know what? Let's go with Sparky right here. Why not? Take on another coffee while we're at it. So here we go. Thundershock for the win. Mm -hmm. That paralyzes him, which is good. Very, very good. And uh, that tackle attack will not do much. But here we go again with another Thundershock. And doesn't really take much. I don't think this coughing knows Smog Attack, which, you know, I probably shouldn't be so overconfident with. But should. Okay, never mind. Never mind. He does have Smog. And this Smog does poison me, which is not good at all. So here we go again with the final Thundershock for the win. Here it is. Sparky grows to level 18, which is good. And uh, that's pretty much it. Look at that. Look at that. We defeated Team Rocket. It's like, a brat beat us? Well, hell yeah. And he's like, Team Rocket blasts off at the speed of light. Okay, so Pikachu, do you like me right now? Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, poor little guy. He's yeah, he's poisoned. He's poisoned. So, luckily we got these antidotes just in case. Uh, let's see, where are you? There you are. Okay, so you're cured of poison. We don't want that lingering effect. And and look at that. Look at that. He's happy now. Look at that. He's fist bumping. That's right, Pikachu. Way to go. Okay, so finally out of the woods now. Alrighty, so here we are in Route Four, Mount Moon to Cerulean City. So here we go. Nothing. Well, there's not, not a lot of stuff that you can do right here, guys. Me personally, I thought there was like a a hidden item right there. Probably wrong. I don't know. Haven't found one yet. But this is pretty much the last few bits of it. And here's an item right here: the TM04, which is Mega Kick. And there is an experienced trainer. And uh, we won't be battling her for quite some time. And then after that, there's some some grassy areas right there. And uh, that is pretty much it, but here it is, guys. Color change and everything. We are finally in Cerulean City, the city we've been trying to get to for quite some time. So, we're going to be exploring Cerulean City later on, and then go up to the Nugget Bridge, and, you know, maybe, maybe, just maybe get ourselves another Pokemon while we're at it. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.